In this lesson, we're going to be adding tooling to the back side of the widget to create a rounded component. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have the part on the proper axis. So we'll go to the setup and make sure that the, um, select the face and make sure that is on the Z axis and then we'll move the uh, zero to the corner. And then on the stock, which is asking what size the material is here, we're going to go ahead and type in um, the one inch for the stock top offset here, 0.1. And then let's go to the 2D and we'll go to face. And for the tool, we'll go ahead and select the end mill, half inch end mill. And that's typically what we use to, to take out chunks of material. And we'll say okay here. Okay, so we have the face selected. And so you can see what the simulation would be. It's taking the top of that, it's gonna face it off for us before we start cutting out the individual shapes. So then again on the, uh, we're gonna to go to 2D Adaptive and we're going to select the surface and we can just inspect to make sure we know which surface we're doing. And then on the passes, We're going to put zero for the axis stock to leave. And then 0 0.02. And that was for the radial. And uh, multiple depths. Select order by depth and then maximum roughing step down 0 0.1 and then say OK. All right, so we have to be careful that we don't take too much out at one time, otherwise the uh, machine will struggle and will dull the bit. So you have, to, you have to take passes at it. And you can see the simulation in the blue lines. Okay, so now we'll go to the uh, 2D contour and we'll go ahead and for the geometry we're going to select the circle the base of that cylinder and so it knows um, what diameter bit we're using here And then we're going to do something called the, the scallop feature. And the tool that we're going to use for this is not the typical half inch. It's actually be, going to be a quarter inch ball end mill. <clears throat> and what that enables us to do is to create curved surfaces from the block of aluminum. And the speed that we're going to use is 5,000. And the boundary is going to be the selection and we're going to go ahead and select that top of the the radius of that cylinder and model and then we're going to need to tell it what that radius is and we're just going to select onto it and the additional uh, offset is going to be 0 0.04 And the step over is 0.25. And this is the path that it takes. All right, so just confirm you have everything as, as I do here. Uh, tool contain, containment, all right. All right, so you can see the simulation. It, it's going to require a lot of passes uh, in order to do this. Uh, and the more passes, uh, the tighter the, 
uh, concentric circles, um, the, the smoother the surface. Concentric being that it actually is going around, going up, coming down, making another circle. It's not one endless circle. It's like a spiral. All right, so um, then we're going to go to the spot drill, and we're going to actually be using this uh, for multiple applications, but we, we can use this to type in your name, for example, or we can also use it here. We're going to do the um, uh, this for the 2D contour. We're going to chamfer this. So we'll say OK. And it has all the uh, data. So we're essentially just telling it where to start and based on the pitch of the tool is what that chamfer will look like. So we're going to go ahead in here and select our eighth inch spot drill. And the spindle speed, very important, at 5,000. That's typical what we've been running. OK, so then uh, we can do the engrave function. And this is where we take the name that we've uh, already written. Um, you can't write the, the name here in the CAM software. We, we would do that beforehand. So this would be whatever you want to call it, probably your name. Um, and then it'll go ahead and uh, cut out your, your name. All right. All right, so here's the simulation. Uh, Sometimes you can simulate as you go along here. This is at the, at the very end, obviously, here, where we're going to simulate taking out, uh, boring out the material until we get approximately the size that we want. And we're making a lot of passes here, as you can tell. And you can always speed this up and slow it down as you go along here. All right, so now you can see the taking out the curved surface. And the miter, and then the name. And if you've done this correctly, you should be done. So inspect everything, um, and make sure that when you, after you do the simulation, that it looks like it is the appropriate um, tooling. And then the last thing we need to do here is create the G-code. And so we actually have to select the machine. Uh, and we're using like the generic um, Haas machine here. Um, and we have to make a couple changes. So it's highlighted in blue. And so for every machine, it will use a certain G-code. And it's essentially a text file. Uh, so um, you want to go ahead and save that. And you can look at the the G code, and we actually have a class that we actually write the G code because right now you don't really know what it is. And so you've completed the first exercise for the backside of the widget.